So today we're going to take a first look at Phi Data. So this is also an agent model that has been recommended to me by some of you guys during our one-on-ones. And also I've just been seeing a lot of good things, a lot of good feedback online. So I thought that basically I would just give this a quick overview, see if it's something I'm interested in, see if it's something that I want to try out. And I mean, what better first impression than just going directly to their website. So right off the bat, it looks pretty organized. They're pretty much letting you know, like, hey, you're interested in this, book a call, or they have the documentation, which is good. As I scroll through this, I do appreciate that it's a very straightforward pitch. Here, if you've been working with agents, they already mentioned here the things that you're probably interested in. You want to search the web. You want to make API calls, which, like I mentioned before, that's going to be super important when you create these agents and try to implement them with other tools, adding knowledge, adding memory, querying databases. I think that's pretty cool because I haven't seen a way that you can natively do that with Query AI. So right off the bat, I'm already pretty interested mainly because of this part of the querying databases and making API calls. Again, this is just the first part of their homepage, which tells me that you know, basically their marketing department or whatever is pretty aligned with what the people that are in the more technical section, you know, want to portray what they want to give people for the value of what they're going to get from this. Here they have some very capturing, engaging graphics, depending on what you're interested in. I mean, this is what's going to catch your attention. You like some graphs, you like monitoring. It seems like they already do monitoring natively. And I think that's one of the things that people kind of feel that some other agent models aren't necessarily ready for production because it's lacking that aspect of being able to monitor the performance of the queries that are being done. You have some testimonials, which is already good for many business. Here you have just straight up CEOs loving this product, which is great. Right here, you're pretty much being told like, hey, we have the free version, we have the $20 a month version. This is what you get in this one. And then these are the other features. Now it says in the free one, you only get one workspace. So I'm wondering how they're going to handle that. So actually let's just jump straight into the documentation. And here they have this very bare bones graph, which shows you, hey, if you're a user, you have an AI assistant. Well, this AI assistant can reference LLMs. The LLM is going to have access to memory, either through a database or through a knowledge base, which can be created with a vector database and then also tools. Again, super straightforward and also just really showing its value right off the bat. And right in the introduction, they give you an example to start setting it up on your own. So let's try that out, see how easy it is. So let's go ahead and open a new terminal in VS Code. And we're literally just going to go step by step and run these commands. Let's create a new folder. We'll just call it Phi Data Sample. Then we're going to open up our terminal in VS Code. And like I said, easy, copy and paste the command. All right, so just to start up your Python environment, let's go to the next command. All right, easy installation. And now we're going to create this assistance.py file. So here, right click, new file, assistance.py. Just copy the values and add them on here, paste. And here it tells you set up your OpenAI key and they even included the link for that. So that shows me that they're pretty beginner friendly, that they're including these links. And you can also just use this command to set your API key. So we're going to paste it on here on our terminal. And then here at the end, you would paste your actual API key value without any quotations. Once you set your API key, let's go ahead and install DuckDuckGo search. And now that's all said and done. Let's run pythonassistance.py. And we can see here that it's running. So we got a response here. It's already formatted pretty well. I'm assuming that this AI assistant that we imported was just already pre-built from a repository that they have. But still, I think the installation and setup for this was super easy. There was no headache at all. And based on how easy to understand this guy was, I can tell that this company is obviously putting a lot of effort in making this as user friendly as possible and really taking into consideration that some of the people that want to use this technology might not be super tech savvy. And also the response did seem to be pretty fast. And there you have it guys. I know there's some people that have never heard of it. So I just wanted to check it out really quickly for myself. Obviously I've been spending a lot of time with Crew AI, but if there's a better tool out there, I'm not attached to Crew AI by any means and I'm more than willing to try those out as well. And also, I just want to share this with those of you that hadn't heard of this tool before. I'm still taking one-on-one -on -one consultations, so if you have any questions about the AI project you're building out, you're more than welcome to book an appointment on my calendar. It's completely free. So tell me in the comments, what do you guys think? Should I be spending a little bit more time on Phi Data, trying it out, seeing what other things it offers? Or do you guys think we should just stick to Crew AI still for now? I'm really looking forward to your feedback. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.